Hi guys, so in this Tony Fact tutorial series, today I have created this Tony explosion and looks really cool. So let's start this tutorial, how I created this. So I have already created it. This is Niagara, you can see. So I have already this effect, I have four emitters. So let's do it again from scratch. So I'll make a new folder. Uh, tutorial dot and the main part is just a material so i'll just make a material and small and what i'll do so if this is like unlit this is uh, translate two side you can use if you have a radial and you have another radial and both look same because this is duplicate so if you subtract uh, first you can offset this so if you take Two vector and this is the center point for the x and y so if you put 0 0.5 0 0.5 that is the center and you can offset this like this so it will little down okay so and this is still in center so if you subtract from this this offsetted one you will have something and this is very faded so you can make a, a density parameter so let's call it density and let's connect it in both and let's increase it maybe 10 so you have this right cool so you can connect it here so this is arc we have let's move it down then if you have a good texture you can use it but if you don't you can take this noise texture if i preview it has lots of settings and this is also 3d so if i make it 0 0.01 this is 3D. If you see on the sphere, there is no scene. But we want to make it 2D. We want to make use it as a texture. So for that, you need to take make float 3, then take break float 2 and connect these together. So this is now 2D and you can take the texture coordinate, but the tiling will be different. Now you need to make it like again one and you can see now this is 2d so if i preview it on a sphere you can see that same here so this is now 2d we want to use it on planar so i'll keep it like this then in the noise we can use this word noise we can turn off the turbulence we don't need that then this minimum and maximum value i don't want this to go negative just make it zero to one okay and we can also make this one and also label maybe one and tiling you can increase it maybe 10 and 10 so you have these little circles right so basically if i take the smooth step and connect this here and actually i want white circles instead of these black circles so we can just invert this so I will have those white circles now and then we can make parameter for the smooth step. So I'll make this minimum parameter, I'll make this maximum parameter and I want my maximum to be always greater than minimum. So I will add this on the minimum and then connect it here and let's check it in the instance how it will work. So I'll just hit save and now I'll make a instance of this material and in here you can put some value in the maximum and then with the minimum you can see I have these random size and random position of size is almost same but the position is random of these circles cool now I want these circles to like use this arc to to take that shape so first thing because this arc is like a band gradient we need to bend these so first i'll put the same values like i have here so let's say I, I want to and you can also fade these if you want so let's say this is one and this is 0.4 so i'll just make this 0.4 i make this one so now the default value is set and you can see these so instead of this and it has 10 10 tiling keep in mind so i'll take the vector to radial and multiply it for the tile. I'll take the two vector and then connect it here. And if I put 10 and 10 here, 
I will have the same tiling, but this is now like banded. You can adjust it like if you want, like if you don't want this stressness, you can increase it, you can decrease it. So you will have those things. Uh, I can turn it okay. Then you can just multiply these together before a smooth step and then use the smooth step again and let's see how it will work. So I will save it. And here now we have this arc. Oh, this is density. So I have this arc, and with this, we can use this full arc. We can also make the sharp, then make the dissolve into the circles. Cool, like the 2D smoke. But these points are too many. So you can decrease the styling, like I want to make it like half 20 and 5. Or you can just make a parameter for tile. And I want this ratio this ratio so i will just multiply this ratio with another parameter so i can adjust let's save it and now here we can see it's already looking cool so it's just dissolving into these circles and you can of course increase or decrease these so this this is my setting i will just use this minimum in the dining parameter and this tiling for the random tiling and that's it you can just take the particle color Connect it here, multiply this thing with the alpha and make some dynamic parameter like this one is my tile and this minimum. So I'll just shift uh, control, press control, drag it both not together and I'll call it minimum. I don't want to touch the maximum. You can make the parameter if you want to just adjust the values, but okay. So let's make a Niagara. I'll take the fountain emitter. Let me save all and FX. And we have this fountain. Cool. I don't want gravity, I want point velocity. Okay, maybe 200 and 100, that is the velocity. Then in the drag, I want to add more drag over life maybe five so they will stop somewhere maybe three now i can change the material so i will use this instance because it has some values so i will use this instance here and then i'll take the dynamic parameter set the value like before zero one and velocity aligned and make the size maybe 100 uh, maybe 50 and 40 I don't want this. And life maybe one and point eight. So these are velocity aligned, and I want to change the color a little darker like this. Then if I just stop it somewhere, and with the dynamic parameter, you can dissolve it. So I want to use it from point two to point uh, point two to one maybe. So I'll just make this like. Point at zero is point two. Okay. Actually, after point three, it should start dissolving like this. And also, there should be a size parameter. I want to like animate the size. Like at point three, it will be at full size. Then you can also stretch these little bit if you want. You can take the size parameter speed by size size by speed sorry and these all look same so you can just colorize it not the hue but the value and saturation so you can see now and instead of spawn rate you can just use spawn burst once maybe just 30 particles and i'll just put it here so we have this and this is very too much random sometimes. So in the sphere, you can use uniform. Okay, and velocity maybe not that much random, maybe 180. So there will be a ring. Okay. And drag you can increase a little bit if you want. So this is the settings you can do. It's like this. So this is stopping. And also tiling looks same for all, so you can just randomize this. 
1 and 0.3. So it is much random now. Then you can just copy and paste and decrease the spawn rate, maybe 10, and increase the velocity, maybe. Or maybe you can just increase this. So this will be a little out. Then you can again copy and paste this and just delete this and take one sprite again. It will come with a default material. Now you can go with the velocity line and make this actually sparks. So I just put some color. I'll just make the size maybe this. I don't want that much of drag. Now we just this one and particle will decrease the size and life will be like 0.6.4. Velocity may be like 400. Even that we can increase the spawn rate if you want, like this. So it's up to it. So this is how I make this effect. Although this looks a little different from my original effect. But because of the different settings, maybe, but this is the process I did to make that tonish explosion. In fact, I hope you liked it. You can find this file on my Patreon and also in my store in YouTube. So, thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye bye.